Good evening to you. I'm Tom Ziska. We're glad to have you with us. We begin with the Texas House vote to impeach Texas Attorney General Ken Paxson in a landslide decision. It happened yesterday. Paxson is a Republican who has been under FBI investigation for years over accusations that he used his office to help a donor. He was separately indicted on securities fraud charges in 2015, though he has yet to stand trial on that. Paxton was immediately suspended pending the outcome of a trial in the Texas State Senate. He says lawmakers are trying to, quote, overthrow the will of the people. Texas has only impeached two public officials in its entire history, never an attorney general. Governor Abbott must now appoint someone else to serve as the state's top lawyer. But in less than an hour after the papers were put on the desk, are you aware that the attorney general himself called members of this house while they were sitting at their desk and threatened them? No, I was not advised of that until I heard you say that. I mean, God bless the poor senators. I don't know how long it'll be if this passes that they're going to have to put up with that same intimidation tactics from a man that does not deserve to be in office. State Representative Eddie Morales tweeted that Paxson wants to include additional, vi rather, rather that he wants to include additional violations that Paxson allegedly committed during the House proceedings, such as abuse of power, intimidation of House members, and Senate jury tampering.